kind of airplane is this anyway? What's it called? This is a Preceptor Ultra Pup. Yeah. And that doesn't look like a two-stroke engine on there. No, that's a four-stroke engine based on the VW. And uh, we, this is a Preceptor Gold engine here. And the standard engine in the airplane is 60 horsepower. This one happens to be 65 horsepower. Now, you go ahead. Okay, now this is a, a two place. You also have a single place airplane? We have a single place. It can be built as a, an ultralight at 254 pounds. If we remove the aluminum spars that we use in both of them and use wooden spars, uh, there's about 26 pounds difference in the spar weight. Now you're talking about spars. Is, what kind of construction kit is this then? All right, we do all of the welding. That takes the... So it's a, like a 4130 chromoly uh, welded fuselage? That's correct. Okay. Uh, we do all the welding. We prime it with epoxy. The spars are extruded aluminum normally. Uh, they're super cup spars, so they're very strong for this weight aircraft. Stamped aluminum ribs, uh, steel fittings. The fittings are made, the ribs are stamped, uh, the spars are drilled. Uh, it's really more of an assembly kit. How long is it going to take me to assemble it then? All right, about 400 to 450 hours. And I would say 50 to 60 percent of that is actual painting or covering, painting, and reassembly, where you start picking at it to make it just like it needs to be to be airworthy. Now, what about I me? Mean, I'm all thumbs in putting something like this together. Am I going to need special tools, special knowledge? No, uh, that's the reason we do a lot of the work. And we provide a two-hour video that shows the little hints and kinks in assembling an airplane. We've assembled an airplane from beginning to test flight. And we provide a builder's manual and an assembly, set of assembly drawings. What kind of uh, an area do I need to do this then? I, I don't imagine I'm going to do it in my bedroom. Well, a double car garage would work or even a single car garage if you build a piece at a time. You know, assemble a wing, hang it up, assemble another wing, hang it up, assemble the uh, tail feathers on the fuselage, all the cables, and then take it outside, put it together, check everything, tear it back down, and cover a piece at a time. You can do it in a single car garage. Now what about the actual performance of the airplane then? Uh, I've noticed there's a, a great deal of difference between, between the performance on some of these aircraft that are out in the field here and the 150 Cessna. What's this one uh, comparatively speaking? Well, we always compare it to a J3 Cub because uh, that's what it's designed after, three-quarter scale. The fuselage is, or the interior is nearly the same size as the J3. Slightly wider, likes an inch in length. Maybe we can just walk over and just have a, a look at the interior here. The length from the rear seat to the instrument panel is likes one inch, being what a J3 Cub is. How about the width? Width is slightly larger inside than a J3 Cub. Okay. And you're using a basic standard control system then with stick and rudder? That's correct. Uh, this particular airplane has a starter and alternator, which makes it nice for teaching, the teaching concept, so you don't have to get out and hand prop or get a student uh, propping an airplane. What about uh, fuel consumption and uh, fuel on board? Okay, fuel on board for an ultralight trainer is 10 gallons total. Uh, that's the maximum you can carry. Uh, the speed is 85 miles an hour, max, and that's in straight and level flight, full power. We can uh, run at about 2,700 RPM at close to 80 miles an hour and burn less than three gallons of fuel an hour. Now, I normally use ab gas, but uh, out like this, it's hard to get the trucks by and et cetera. So, I'm using uh, high test auto fuel right now. So if somebody wants more information on this beautiful little airplane and its little sister ship, where do they get it? Okay, we're located in Hendersonville, North Carolina. The name is Preceptor Aircraft Corporation. The address is 1230 Shepherd Street, Hendersonville, North Carolina, 28792. How come you know so much about this airplane? 
I'm the one that designed it. <laughs> Your name? Bob Count. I've oh. been building this airplane, or the predecessor. This is the latest version uh, since 1983. Thank you very much, then, Bob. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bob, there was something else. Doesn't this have a folding wing? Yes, the, the wings fold. It's probably the easiest system uh, on the market to fold. Uh, we put we fold the inboard flap under. Uh, by the way, this has operable flaps also. We fold the inboard flap section under. We disconnect the fuel line. Uh, we, we're going to need a couple of guys to do this, or no, one person? No, one person can do it. Okay. Pull one bolt, and the wing folds. It takes about a minute to the side. And, you know, in 10 minutes, I can have this thing on a trailer and hiking down the road towards a show. <laughs> okay, there, Bob. Thanks again. Okay. Bye.